Okay, hi guys. I want to start talking niche with you guys. Now, some of you are wondering, what the heck does that have to do with singing? But here's what's important. When you start thinking about getting your music out there into the world, this is huge. It is the biggest thing when it comes to that. And it is, who are you actually targeting? Who are your people who are going to be your fans? A lot of people mess this up a little bit, and so it makes a big difference. But what I want you to start thinking about, and that we're going to talk about in this lesson, is who are the exact people who would like your music? Now, this is why it makes a difference, because your message will be different depending on who your target audience is. For me, here's a good example. I do music that's a little bit soulful, a little bit pop, a little acoustic -y, so basically soulful. Okay, now if I was marketing to people who are folk, it would look a little different, it would sound a little different. My images and different things would look a little different. One of my mentors um, does metal, which is crazy. Um, and she is Celtic metal actually, and she has a very specific genre that is very specific. Those are people who like castles, they like um, Harry Potter, uh, uh, just like fantasy world, that type of stuff. That market is insanely different than my market. So I know once we start talking as musicians and we start talking about marketing, we start talking about advertising, any of that stuff, we go, what? We like shut down immediately. But for you, this is really important. Um, to take a second, and what I would like you to do, actually, you can get a piece of paper out. You can pause this video, but I want you to start writing down artists who are similar to you. Now, I know we don't like to do that. We like to think we're totally separate. We're totally not similar to other artists. But as you started singing or playing, there were artists that you listened to, and those influences impact your sound. For me, I really liked Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, all those like pop singers that was huge for me and you hear it in my voice you hear it in my songs they're more soulful um there are some christian singers that i like more but a lot of times it's um gospel artists or like really soulful a lot of black singers that just have that amazing rich tone i love that but that is my style okay that is more kind of where i'm headed alicia keys kind of that piano music sarah Bareilles in the um non-Christian industry. My industry is more Christian, so a lot of times I'm marketing more to Christian people and worship leaders and things like that. Um, but for you, I want you to start sitting down and make a list of five either bands or singers who are like you or who you, you love. A lot of times the people that are going to be your fans are people who are like you. Now, here's the fun thing. It doesn't just stop with the different bands. Okay, I had a friend who um, loves Blink-182, okay? And if you can start marketing to the people who like those bands that sound like you, all of a sudden it's not going to be like you inviting your friends to your shows. They might not like you. They're coming because they like, I mean, they like you. I'm sorry. They might, your music might not be their favorite thing. But if you can find fans who love your style of music, you're going to get fans for life. And that's where money starts coming in from it. Your shows will be a lot more fun with people who really enjoy your style of music. You have this great connection all of a sudden. You pair your style with people who love your style and boom, it's like magical and super fun. And that's where you start getting fans that love your music, that want to buy your music, that want to come to your shows, that want to support you, that want to, you do a Kickstarter and they are there 100%. They want to tell their friends, share your music and all that stuff. So this is really important. Um, so I want to show you some tools that Facebook has that can actually help you in this way. Because you don't just want to know the bands. You also want to know what are the shows they watch. What are the, um, there are so many things. What, how, the age range is a huge difference. Because for me, I'm not targeting 18 and younger kids. For me, my market is a lot like me, 25 to 35, something along those lines. Um, but for, there was somebody who was um, making, they had like Americana music. They were targeting more people like 50 and above. That market is so different than mine. So all of that is really important to know. But here's where it gets really fun. Facebook has these amazing tools to figure out some of this stuff. Um, so I want to show you that. And I'm going to share my screen here for a second um, so you can see how all of this works. Let me see here. Oh, is that the right one there? Uh, yes. Okay. Here you go. So hopefully you can follow along. Let me get to this guy. There we go. Okay, so let me show you this first, how this works. So when you get onto Facebook, let me just show you right off the bat. When you get onto Facebook.com, I'm going to be slow here for a second. I want to show you right from the get-go from your home page, if you scroll all the way down, it's going to take a second. If you scroll all the way down, you see this thing that says Ads Manager, okay? That's what you want to go to. You're eventually going to start doing ads. Um, pay no attention to my random feed. I have no idea what some of those different things. Um, but you go to the ads manager and here's what I want to take you to. 
where it says up at the top, you see these like three little lines. You're going to click the three little lines and you have a few options. You have ad manager, audience insights, and audiences. There's all sorts. If you push all tools, there's zillions of different things you can do. But right from the get-go, if you're somebody who has never explored this before, do not be overwhelmed. I'm going to walk you through little pieces of this, but show you just the basics of how you can start finding fans on Facebook. There's millions and millions and millions and millions of users on Facebook every day. And so there are, I guarantee you, your fans are on Facebook and people who would love your music that you can connect with. So you want to go up to where it says audience insights and you want to click that. Now, when it takes you here, this is where you're going to get to. Now, here's some of the different tools. You can choose locations, like where different people would be at. Say you're somebody who um, likes more like British pop music, that you might want to target people more in, great, um, in Britain or um, Australia. If you like more um, like techno stuff, you might want to do Asia. But for me, and most of you, you're going to want to push the United States into United States in there, or you don't even have to do it at all, and it should just choose that. Um, for me right now, I just want to show you the basics of this without targeting different things, but you can target ages and men or women or all different things. A lot of my fans I notice are women. Um, for you, it might be different um, if you know your style already. But So I had already pushed Sarah Bareilles in here. I'm going to start from the top just so you can see from the get-go. Okay, so I'm going to pick somebody, let's say Sarah Bareilles. She's a singer, songwriter, piano player. Um, so she is, her music is similar to my music. So I push that and it'll show you right here how many of the people of her fans are women, a lot of them. So that's a huge important thing for me to know. My marketing, my targeting, my ads are going to be more targeted to women. So a lot of that language, the images can be, can be more in that way. I don't have to be scared to make that like that. In fact, it's better if you niche down a little bit. Um, not as many men. There are some men, but something else you notice. Notice how many of the people are 25 to 34. That's a huge age range that I'm going to be targeting. And if I'm starting to run ads, they will be cheaper if I'm running them in that, um, that age range. So I know, again, some of you are like, I don't know if I'm running ads. But even to just know this about your fans is hugely important. Um, here's a really fun one. If you click up here at the top where it says page likes, you can see other pages that they like, which is crazy and so amazing. It's like all this at your fingertips. Um, so a lot of them like Waitress the Musical, which is a musical that she wrote. Um, Hamilton, a lot of Hamilton friends. Um, different writers who the guy who liked Hamilton, other musicians, Florence and the Machine, and Nina. So if you're having a hard time thinking of other musicians, sometimes this is an easy way to find those people. Um, other people, they like some Amy Poehler, Netflix, The Onion. This is huge. This is like a wealth of knowledge. Wicked the Musical. So those are some of the things I could be targeting when I want to make an ad. So, okay, here's people who like Sarah Brayless. I know that people also like musicals who like her music. I know people like Maude Cloth. I mean, that's crazy that you could find out all this, but also so amazing because it can target um, the people even better. Other pages that they like. Um, Ingrid Michaelson, she's amazing. A lot of them also like her. Um, I think I'm more than about it. So that's some of the pages that like. here's locations that you can go to too. Um, top cities as Alabama, that's kind of random. Okay, California, Michigan, Minnesota, St. Paul, Washington. I mean, you see it's kind of all across the U.S. Um, top countries, my guess is United States would be the top. If you 100%, probably because I targeted the United States here, but um, the top languages are also English. This would be important though if you were doing like Spanish album. Um, this would look very different. Also something interesting to note is in the last few days, what people are doing is they're clicking ads, they're mostly on mobile is my guess. Yeah, maybe not iPhone. Not many people on their computers and desktop. That's something useful to note too because people are making quick decisions about things and you want to try and um, make an ad that's attractive so they can click quick because they're not probably sitting on the desktop at home, they're more likely on the go. Um, so that's just something that's interesting to note and um, useful if you're going to start making ads, which I would suggest doing, just running a simple visibility ad where you maybe have had some video views or say, hey, want a free song? Um, and people can start clicking into that. So this though is just the basic, the beginning of, okay, I want to look into someone who likes Cerberus. I also want to look into somebody who likes, you can either pick your pages, or you can say, let's see another page that someone might like. Yeah. No, hello, hello. This is what's really crazy. You can say if the people are mostly married or if they, their education and what they do for work. Um, let's go to this guy for a second. 
I would also like to say, I understand the Sarah brands, but also let's say that they are interested in, let's look at entertainment. Let's say that they're interested in what? Other types of music. Let's just even just like a pop music. Pop music is such a big genre, it's going to be hard to really target that. Um, we can get an idea for how it looks differently. Let's get rid of Cerberus for a second and try another one so we can see what the first is different. Um, because I'm in the Christian music industry, I'm going to say now the grant who's a Christian singer. And let's just look at like how that looks different with the pop music. Now look at it, it went up to 88% women. That's a huge difference. We're almost 100% married. Went to college, all sorts of things like that. Craziness, right? Other pages that they might like if you're having a hard time finding artists that you want to be similar to or things that you can look at their page and see how they're marketing. Um, Kara fans, it's a radio station, Christian music, these different Christian other musicians. You can find out all these things about the people who are potentially your fans, which is why it's really important to do that research um, so that you know for your branding, even what that could look like. And branding towards women is very different than branding towards men, or even young women, older women, looks very different. So do this research, spend some time entering in some of these different things and see what are some of the different people that they're liking who are who like we, the type of music that you like and the type of music that you like. Um, give that a try, maybe it would be fun.